Hello and welcome everyone to another edition of Coach's Corner, our weekly conversation with Caitlin Cachello, the head women's soccer coach here at the University of Albany. Thanks for a couple minutes, Coach, and uh, congrats. You guys just picked up a huge win against Vermont 2-0 on the road. Uh, you, you suffered a loss last week to Hartford, but, but you're back on the right track. Uh, what, what are your takeaways from the Catamount game? Yeah, um, Vermont was a huge win for us. Um, it was actually snowing during the game, so that was interesting being up there and having all that weather happen while we were playing. But Vermont's been top of the table for the America East for a couple weeks now, and so to get a win on the road against somebody who's a couple spots above us was just massive for us. Wasn't that the first time that Vermont lost at home this season? Um, you know, I venture to say that's probably true if you're saying it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what kind of confidence that, that, that give you guys moving forward here? I think the girls know at this point that pressure is going to be on them no matter what. And we talked to them last week about when we're in playoffs, it's going to be a pressure-filled situation. So we might as well go into every game feeling that pressure now. Um, and being able to perform and get a W under a pressure situation being on the road was great for us. Do you feel like you're playing your best soccer? I think we're starting to get back to a place that's better than it was you know, you always hit that mid-season slump at some point, and we're starting to get back to a place where we're believing in each other again. We've decided that we just need to put our head down and just get to work, and that's what we're doing. Now, how about you personally? You were out for the longest time, you know, with, with the maternity leave. Are you are you finding the balance uh, once again? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, scouting takes a ton of time, and it's been great to have all three of us, four of us, back in the office doing that, grinding it out during the week. And so we've really started to find a rhythm again. And, yeah, I think the girls – you know, they didn't have a hard time bouncing back between the coaching change because Nick and I work so closely together. But I think that, yeah, we are finding our stride again. It's nice. Uh, looking ahead to the playoffs, the, 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 the standings are a little bit in flux. What are the potential uh, for you guys if you, if you win some games here, uh, your, your, your last two? Yeah. So for us at this point, if we win the next two, then we could be talking top four. Um, if we win the next one out of two, we could probably be middle of the pack. Um, but definitely have potential to be close to the top of the pack, which would be nice if we get the next two. So that's what we're looking to do. Uh, you guys have senior uh, day Sunday, right? What, what, how, how important is that uh, as a coach to, you know, obviously there, there's games after that with the playoffs, but uh, just to send those seniors out the right way. Yeah, you know, we have eight seniors, so it's a huge senior class. They're all going to be excited about senior day and looking forward to, you know, the flowers and the parents, all that good stuff. But I think it's just important for us to keep our mind focused on the game enjoy that moment, but then as soon as the whistle kicks off, get after it. All right, thanks for a couple of minutes and best of luck uh, this coming week. Thank you. All right, that'll do it for our conversation this week. As always, you can catch us next week. Caitlin and I will sit down, look back, look back at the games against Lowell and Maine, and look ahead to the playoffs. For Caitlin Coachella, I'm Zach By. We'll talk to you next week.